Hello everyone, welcome back to Public Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets. I have the data of all my customers in Google Sheets and I want to send WhatsApp message to all these customers automatically. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a simple connection between Google Sheets and WhatsApp and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Public Connect. So here we have Google Sheets in our trigger and then we have WhatsApp Cloud API through which I want to send WhatsApp messages to all my customers customers in our action. And now we are going to connect both of them by using Pably Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically send WhatsApp messages to all of our customers from Google Sheets. So let's suppose I'm a makeup artist and I have a makeup studio and I want to send a discount offer message to all my customers on WhatsApp. Okay, for which I have prepared a spreadsheet in which I have the data of all my customers, their name as well as the WhatsApp number. Okay, so I'm going to connect my Google Sheets with WhatsApp in such a way that automatically WhatsApp message will be sent to all the customers without any manual. Effort. Okay, for creating the automation, I'm going to use Pably Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So it allows us to connect multiple applications without any coding or programming skills, which helps us to automate our processes. So this is the homepage of Pably Connect where we can reach directly by tapping the URL pably.com slash connect in our browser. When we will come here, we will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pably. To create this automation, we are going to use Pably Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pably Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows, which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. Okay, so for creating a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send automated WhatsApp message from Google Sheets. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which you want to save the workflow. So I have selected that and now I'm going to click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards the word trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Okay, so after understanding this concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Google Sheets. So let us select that. Now here we have to select the trigger event, which will be new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay, as we have done that, a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So we need to connect our Google Sheets with Pably Connect for getting the response over here. And for that, the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge. So let me copy the webhook URL and then I'm going to take you towards the Google Sheets. So this is my Google Sheets named as customers data. Now for connecting this spreadsheet with Pably Connect here, we need to go towards extensions and then we have to click on get add-ons. Once we will do that, it is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here we need to search for Pably Connect Webhooks. So Pably Connect Webhook is the add-on which we need to install in Google Sheets. As you can find, I have already installed it. So I'm just going to cross this. And now once you will install the add-on, you also have to refresh the spreadsheet so that you could find the option of Pably Connect Webhooks under extensions. So that you can find the option of Pably Connect Webhooks under extensions. As we can find the option, let's go towards initial setup. And basically for connecting our Google Sheets with Pably Connect, we have to do an initial setup in which we have to enter two details, webhook URL and trigger column. So first of all, let us paste the URL which we have copied from Pably Connect in this field and the next is trigger column. So the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data will be entered in the spreadsheet up till this column, then the response will be automatically captured in Pably Connect. The trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook URL. So whenever we are going to add the data up till our trigger column automatically the response of that entire row will be sent towards Pably Connect with the help of this webhook URL. So in the background you can find that I have two columns in my spreadsheet column A and column B. So column B will be my trigger column. So column B will be my trigger column as I want that as soon as I'm going to enter the data up till column B that means whenever I will enter the data of the customer and I will add the number of that customer here in the field then the response should be captured automatically towards Pably Connect. So I'm going to enter B over here 
Now I'm going to click on the send test button to send the test response towards Pabli Connect. So a test response is sent of this demo customer and this is the number. Okay. So now we are going to click on submit and we will cross this as the setup is configured successfully. We will go back towards Pabli Connect and here we can find that we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details, WhatsApp number, trigger column, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID row index and the name of the customer. Okay, so because we have received this response, that means our connection between our Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successful. So we can move further. Okay, now our objective is to send WhatsApp message to the customer and that I'm going to do with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API. So WhatsApp Cloud API has the official API access of WhatsApp and with the help of this, we can send WhatsApp message to multiple people in a form of a template without getting blocked by WhatsApp for sending bulk messages. Okay, here we are going to go back towards Pabli Connect and I'm going to select WhatsApp Cloud API in my action application. Now we have to select the action event. So our action event will be send template message. Let's click on connect and now from the given options, I'm going to select this add new connection. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now for building the new connection, we have to enter three details over here, token, phone number ID, as well as WhatsApp business account ID. For finding these details, first of all, you need to set up the WhatsApp cloud API account and then you have to go towards Meta for developers under which you will find the account here. This is the app dashboard. Now we have to go towards the API setup from the left side and under this, we can find all the details. So this is the temporary access token. Let us first First of all, copy this and we will paste it over here in this field. The next is the phone number ID. So let us copy that also and we will paste it over here. And at last, we need to copy the WhatsApp business account ID. Let's do it and we will quickly paste it in the field. Done in the same manner, you need to find all the details and now let's click on save. As we have done that, WhatsApp Cloud API account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So we will move further. Okay, so here we need to enter details in these fields in order to send WhatsApp message to our customers. First of all, it is asking the template name. So I'm going to take you towards WhatsApp Cloud API once again, and this is the template section. I have created a template named as Divine Glamour for my makeup studio. I'm going to open it and show you. We will go towards the summary and this is the preview of the message. Hello dummy, thank you for contacting us. We have some special discounts for you as you are so special for us. Enjoy 60% off on all your appointments this month on any service and get 10% extra off on your first booking. Apply coupon code GLAMOUR10. Thanks and regards team Divine Glamour. So this is the message which I want to send to my customers which contains the discount offers. Okay, so I have already created the template and I have used a variable for the name in this template. So whenever we are going to use a variable in the message, the details of that place are going to be changed automatically. That means now according to each and every customer, the name is going to be replaced. In this way, we are going to send the same template message with all the same content without any manual efforts to all the customers and that too in the customized format. In the same manner, you can create your own template by clicking on this link given over here. To create your own message template, click on this hyperlink. Let's do that. And now here you can click on this create template button to create your own template and you can customize your template according to your business requirements and your choice. You can add as many variables as you want to customize the template. Okay. Now once you will create your template, you also have to send it for approval and when it will get approved, you can use it in order to send WhatsApp message. So let me go back towards Pabli Connect and here I'm going to select the name of my template that is Divine Glamour. And as we have selected the template name, we can find that the language code and the template ID is already selected. So we will move further. Here we need to enter the mobile number of the person to whom we want to send the message. Okay, so we want to send message to our customer and we have already received the details of our customers in our earlier response. This is the WhatsApp number. We will simply map that. So mapping is inserting data from previous step. Let's select the number and it is mapped. So when we have mapped this number, it has become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every response. So when this workflow will run in real time, automatically this number is going to be replaced with a new number of a new customer. So that WhatsApp message will be sent to each and every customer without any manual efforts. But in case if we will enter it manually by copy and pasting, then it would have become static and then it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, the workflow will get stuck. Okay, now here we need to enter the body field. In this field, we need to enter the values for the variables. So I have used only one variable in my template that is for name and I want to keep the value of that variable as the name of the customer. So I will simply map the name of the customer. This is demo customer. Okay, so when we have done that, it has also become static. So let's click on save and send test request button. And we have received the response. In the response, we have received the status as accepted. That means the message is sent on the number which we have mapped over here. So let's go and check on WhatsApp. 
and yes here we can find that we have received the message over here on the number which we have mapped welcome to the world of glamour hello demo customer thank you for contacting us here are some special discounts 60% off and 10% off apply coupon code glamour10 thanks and regards team divine glamour this means that our workflow is perfectly successful now we will go back towards our google sheets and because my objective is to send the same discount message to all the customers in the customized format therefore we have to do one more step over here we have to go towards extensions we have to go towards pabli connect webhooks and this time we need to click on this send all data button and as we have done that now automatically message will be sent to all these customers in the customized format and here we can find that we have started receiving the messages so because i have used a single number in the workflow i have received the messages for all the customers on my number only so this is the message for demo customer this is for smart user this is for dummy user this is for demo user test customer and new customer dummy customer okay so in this way we have sent the same message in the customized format to all our customers okay this means that the workflow is perfectly fine and successful let's go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have taken two simple steps trigger an action in trigger we have taken google sheets and in action we have taken whatsapp cloud api and we have connected both of them by using public connect in such a way that automatically whatsapp message will be sent to all our customers whose data we have in our google sheets this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red pabli dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.